The Norway Pavilion in Epcot has always been my favorite due to my family's Norwegian heritage. I've always been fascinated with this part of the park, and in this video, we are going to share five of the best things to do at the Norway Pavilion when you visit Epcot. The first thing you have to do is ride through the fjords with Olaf and friends. There are only three rides in Epcot's World Showcase, and the Norway Pavilion has one of them. A lot of guests come to this pavilion just to ride Frozen Ever After and leave without enjoying some of the other things we're going to cover in this video. That being said, this ride is a lot Lot of fun and you don't want to miss it, especially if you have kids in your group. The lines are typically very long for Frozen Ever After, so for the shortest wait times, you'll either want to ride it first thing in the morning or during the fireworks show. Another thing you can do is get lightning lane passes to shorten your wait time. As you might have guessed, the ride is about the characters from the Frozen cartoon. You'll glide through the icy landscapes of Arendelle while being serenaded by songs from the movie. The scenes are brought to life through a combination of animatronics, special effects, and vibrant visuals, and you'll even go backwards during this ride. There are no age or height requirements, so the whole family can enjoy it together. The second thing you have to do at the Norway Pavilion is eat like a Viking. You may not associate great food with Norway. However, some of the best foods in all of Epcot's World Showcase can be found in this pavilion. There are two places to eat in Norway. The first is at the Akershus Royal Banquet Hall, which is named after the famous 14th century castle in Oslo. At this restaurant, you can enjoy a buffet-style meal while dining with princesses. If you plan to eat here, you'll need to make reservations in advance. However, we recommend skipping this and instead heading straight to the Kringula Bakery and Cafe, which is the second place you can eat at the Norwegian Pavilion. In our video about eating around the world in Epcot, we show everything that we ate here, but some of the highlights for us were the school bread, lefse, and Verdun's best cake. If you want to see more of what we ate, make sure to watch that at the end of this video. Trust us, this is a bakery you won't want to miss out on. After you've finished eating like a Viking, the next thing you should do is shop like a Viking Queen. There are three places to shop in the Norway Pavilion. The Fjording Shop and the Puffins Roost, while technically separate stores, are located in the same building. If you ride Frozen Ever After, you'll exit the ride through the Fjording Shop. In this store, you'll find a variety of both frozen merchandise and authentic Norwegian items. From imported fragrances and Norwegian foods to Viking knickknacks and souvenir t-shirts, there are a wide variety of items to shop for here. And bonus, you can also put on a Viking helmet and pose for a photo with the shop's giant troll. Continuing on through the building, you'll come to the Puffin's Roost, which sells more Norwegian items. The third shop is the Wandering Reindeer, which has even more frozen merchandise and is located just outside of the meet and greet with Anna and Elsa, which leads us to the fourth thing you can do, meet the locals. If you're a big fan of the Frozen movies, you can chill out with royal sisters Elsa and Anna at their meet and greet at the charming royal summer house. Pose for a picture, ask for an autograph, and you can even Disney bound to match them. We found the characters here to be extra interactive. They took time to spend with our group telling stories, teaching the kids how to pose, and making us feel welcome as guests in their summer home. They took their time with our group and didn't make us feel rushed at all. If Anna and Elsa are some of your favorite Disney characters, then we highly recommend this meet and greet in Norway. The final thing you should do before leaving this pavilion is go to church. The Stave Church to be specific. This replica church is located right on the main path through World Showcase, so you can't miss it. The country of Norway was heavily involved in the design and inspiration of the Norway Pavilion when it first opened in 1988, making this one of the most accurately depicted pavilions in all of World Showcase. In fact, this was one of only a few pavilions that their representing country funded and collaborated on, which was Walt's original plan for all of World Showcase. Another fun fact is that this is one of only two pavilions added after the park initially opened. Be sure to go inside the Stave church replica to learn more about Norwegian history. You'll find displays depicting Norse mythology and Norwegian history, and while you probably won't want to spend a lot of time here, it's worth walking through during your visit. Next up, watch our video about eating around the world in Epcot, where we show more of what we ate at this Norwegian pavilion. 